Well, another season underway, and it felt good to be out there. You know, a lot of guys in their first minutes at Viejas, three new starters, all first-time Aztecs, all first-game action, two of them seniors, one of them a fourth-year junior. So that's strange, strange world we're living in in athletics, but they did. I thought they did a great job. You know, I, I, wa I wish I could have got KJ and Mal in a little better offensive rhythm, you know, but uh, despite that, Malachi led us in rebounds and assists. So he played a magnificent game. I wanted to see those guys get a few more shots up and go in, but uh, we shot a great percentage. And uh, I'm talking about offense, and I told him before the game, our season's going to be based on how we defend and how we rebound. And so Point Loma, I think they shot 31 or 32 percent against us, and then UCSD shot 28 percent from the field. So that's pretty good defensive effort. You know, that's, that's making teams shoot low percentages. Obviously, I don't want to give up as many offensive rebounds as we did, but they shoot so many threes that are so many long rebounds that are bounding out a long ways from the basket, and they outran us to a couple of them. But I thought for a first performance in front of a crowd, I liked what I saw from my team. Uh, they shared the ball. The bench scored a ton of points. Uh, the ball moved freely. Uh, there's room to improve, which you would expect to see after a, a, your first exhibition game. But I like the disposition and the attitude of this team, and I think that will go a long way to helping us be the team we want to become as the season goes on. In regards to Malachi, uh, how, how much do you think, how much is the shot kind of the hardest thing to get back after, you know, not playing for a year and sitting out a season? Do you think that's like the offensive rhythm you're talking about? You wish you had gotten a little bit? Yeah, I told him before the game, you know, I thought, you know, I talked specifically about Jalen McDaniels. His second year when he was a go-to player, you know, it was harder because they ran a second defender at him. And he had to learn how to become a better playmaker and passer and get other people involved when they ran a second defender. I think Malachi already has that feel. You know, they pay attention to him, and he ended up with seven assists. So our best players over the years, uh, Aztec-wise, are guys that can not only make a basket for themselves, which he can, but when they draw multiple defenders, can find the open man, which he did too. So I was really encouraged with, uh, obviously, Malachi's playmaking ability. I think the shot I'm not concerned about at all. I think he'll have games where he'll get on fire and he'll be, he won't miss very many. Leading up to this game, we've talked about the leadership of KJ and Yanni, what they bring to the table. What were you able to see out of them tonight? I think they were, you know, KJ was vocal, Yanni was vocal. I mean, usually if, if I don't have a guy saying something, I'll, I'll set the team off one, two, three together or one, two, three Aztecs. And KJ stepped up, he took over the counting already. And so the more they're willing to do, the happier I'm going to be. So the more they're able to call plays for themselves and for the team where I don't have to do that. Uh, the saying in basketball, a player-led team is way better than a coach-led team. So I think we're heading in that direction where we're going to have a player-led team. What did you see out of Keyshot tonight? Keyshot is a, a freshman, you know, so a lot of times you look up, he's in the wrong place offensively and defensively, but yet he found a way to score 12 points. So his learning curve is, is going to be sharper than the rest of the guys because he's new to it. So, but I think he's a quick study. I think he wants to please the coaches. You know, sometimes I wish he'd do, do more. I wish he'd attack to the basket off the dribble, but he moves the ball unselfishly. And so as he finds his rhythm within what we're doing, I think he'll continue to get better every game. You, I mean, you know how good this team is. Um, you know, they beat Long Beach in the scrimmage a couple of days ago. Um, how impressed are you with this result? I mean, you're up 37 against a team that could win the D2 National Championship. Yeah, I thought we did a good job defensively, Mark. You know, we. We switched ball screens and we were able to keep a body in front of a body. The only thing we got hurt on is sometimes once we switched our post players would lose track of the shooters as they moved the ball around. But I thought we got better as that went on. Uh, you know, they were missing their starting point guard. Okay, so we picked up full court pressure and we didn't trap a lot, but when we did, we created steals and havoc. So I thought we wore down their guards as the game went on. You know, missing their point guard is always a huge factor for them. You know, when he didn't play today, I thought it was, they, I think the comment was it was a regular season game. They'd have found a way to get him out there, but not an exhibition game. So I felt like we didn't play him at full strength, but I, I was pleased with the way my team played. What's Wetzel bring? He seemed, having seen him for the first time tonight, he seemed very athletic. Yeah, point. Yanni's good. He, you know, he's good around the basket. He can score in the low post. He's got multiple moves. You know, he missed a couple chippies in there. He still ended up, I think, four for eight or something like that and got his hands on a lot of basketball. So Yanni's versatile. So it's like all of them. I have to find the way to put them all in the best positions to be successful 
and when they draw a second defender to move that ball and find an open man. But Yanni's, this is about what I thought we'd get out of Yanni. He's got an ability to step out and make a three-point shot if left open, so he can stretch it a little bit. But, uh, you know, he's, he's getting comfortable too. You know, it's a new system, new teammates, and so I was pleased with how we played, but I think there's great room for growth. Could you talk about the decision to put or have Matt coming off the bench? Well, Matt, you know, Matt missed seven weeks post knee surgery with the uh, arthroscope to clean up a meniscus. So Matt is going full in practice, but I think you could see his, his games, game legs aren't back yet. You know, so he's just got to get himself into a little better game conditioning, you know, just so that he can play in longer stretches. But I think Matt's going to, you know, obviously once he gets back at full strength, we're going to be a lot better basketball team. There was that incident in the, uh, uh, maybe it was the first half when Joel got the T and it was a three-point play. You were pretty angry. You guys went on a 15-0 run after that. What happened there to your team, the dynamic? I don't know. I mean, just that click? we're going to do things the right way, you know, and that's a whether it's offense, defense, or just, you know, we're not going to get that kind of technical. And I was, I was upset with Joel because, like I say, all I want to see in the game is what I've seen in practice. And he never does that in practice. He never bounces the ball down. As soon as he did it, he looked. He knew he shouldn't have done it. He knew he was getting a technical, but that, uh, that wasn't going to save him with me. You know, he had come out. So... He looked at me, he was uh, lesson learned. I don't think we'll see it again this year. But your team seemed to respond. I mean, did, did that kind of snap him to attention? Maybe it caught him to attention. Maybe, hey, we, gotta, we can't make these mistakes, mental or physical. So, you know, I didn't, the intention of pulling him out was not to have an effect on the rest of the team, it was to have an effect on him, that I don't have to see that in the future. How but Joel played good. Joel played a good game today. How much uh, did scouting, having to scout for this game, help versus the scrimmage when you didn't do any of that? It helped a lot. I mean, scouting always helps. You know, we always do a good job scouting, but, you know, we made the decision to switch the five-man ball screens because Hanson's very good at ball screening and popping out and shooting threes. So by switching, we're limiting his three-point shots. So then they try to roll him in the post. We did a good job fronting and doubling when it went in there. And like I said, the only thing we did is once we switched our five-man onto a shooter, sometimes he lost track of the guy. And that's to be expected. You know, we work on it, but... Uh, I thought the scouting report helped us. I mean, we, we knew what each player could do. We knew who were shooters, who were drivers, and, and our kids pay attention. You know, they're, they're quick studies, they learn, and they want to be taught. So scouting reports are obviously important, not as, par as important as fundamentals, but uh, they're a big part of the game. You feel like this team is ready for one that actually counts in six days? They better be. You know, Texas Southern will be interesting. You know, they've got a bunch of transfers that we haven't seen. And we'll have to try to find a way to learn about as much about them as we can in a short period of time. But, uh, you know, Johnny Jones does a great job. They'll have a bunch of D1 transfers that have come from a number of high major programs that he'll be fitting together. And obviously, they'll be talented. And uh, we'll have to figure out which ones we have to stop, you know, maybe somewhat on the fly. How is uh, this performance as a birthday gift from your players? Uh, did they do anything else, uh, sing to you? or? Get oh, I told them after the game, you know, I put a number on the board. I said, this is the most important number in the game, 60. And they didn't know what I was talking about. I said, I turned 60 today. So <laughs> then they all had a good laugh. So it's, uh, I had to bring my readers up so I can read the stats. So, but it's, uh, I told them I don't worry about things uh, at 60 as much as I did at 30. You know, so I'm going to be patient when required, but I'm going to be demanding when that's required. So. I got a good group of guys that want to get better and, and will continue to do so as the season goes on. Guys, just uh, overall thoughts on uh, what you guys were able to get done tonight? Um, uh, I feel like we were able to, I mean, pull out the win, but it, it was bigger than that. We were trying to get better today um, on both sides of the ball, and especially defensively. Uh, that's, that's what we're trying to make our stable this year is trying to be an offensive but a defensive team as well and do play on the, both sides of the ball well. How about what you see there? Uh, yeah, same thing. I mean, I think we, we did good. It was a team effort. Um, everybody got got in, got got to do their thing. So um, it's a step forward for sure. Now you got nine rebounds today. It seems like that's <laughs> something that we didn't really talk about coming this season. Your rebounding ability. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, I, some of those just fell to my lap. I ain't gonna lie. So <laughs> I ain't say that's gonna happen every night. But um, I mean, I was just. That's been our focus, though, in practice, trying to get rebounds. So I just try to go out there and, and help the team. Matt, you came off the bench. Is, I mean, we probably shouldn't anticipate that in the future. Or is, how much of that is 
coach after saying that you're coming off the um, surgery, missing a few weeks. Yeah, I mean, you never really know. Uh, I mean, whatever the lineup is, the lineup is, and it, that's the way it is. I'm going to go out there and play my game. Um, so I feel like whatever the lineup is, it'll go. They'll go out there and get the job done, no matter no matter whether or not I'm I'm in the starting lineup or not. You had that one move, um, spin move. The first left, your first point from the night was a little spin move to the basket. You seem kind of quicker. Do you feel a little bit? Obviously, we talked about your off season. You know. Weight loss and all that. Do you feel quicker? How do you feel out there? I definitely feel better, uh, more agile, quicker, uh, more athletic. Uh, I just uh, I'm loving how I feel right now. Malachi, how'd you feel being out there first game with your teammates? Uh, I felt good. I'm um, just getting back into the game flow. I mean, you can't really imitate that um, as, as much as you want to in practice. So just getting out here is, is definitely good to get that that feel back. Do you have an idea how long that will take? Uh, I mean, in game because you know, obviously in practice there's things you've been doing that maybe you didn't do tonight, but like you said, it's different in the game. I mean, is it you know, think of three or four games? Is it a ten game thing? And you haven't um, played I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, I think we can just uh, my teammates helping me too. We just go out there. It's, just, it's going to be a team team thing. Uh, I'm gonna just try to get mine as as it, as it goes on, not force too much, um, and, and try to get wins. Obviously, we didn't get to see your scrimmage against Point Loma, but we saw the stats, and, and Coach was pretty upset about the 19 turnovers. Um, was that, you know, was a little bit of a wake-up call, or, or obviously you guys are way sharper tonight? Uh, that's definitely a wake-up call. Uh, 19 turnovers in a scrimmage is too much. Um, 19 turnovers in any anything is too much. Um, I don't know how much we have. To, we had 13 a day. Um, I, I feel like that could still be better. Uh, I, our guards, our, our forwards, our, our bigs can take care of the ball all, all just as well as as, as the guards can. So I, I feel like that 13 is still a little bit too high. Matt, did you have any of your nerves coming in the first few minutes? Any you know, playing, you stay in front of crowd? Uh, I want to say nerves, but um, definitely it's just different. I mean, I haven't played a game in almost two years, to be honest, with the off season and then the whole year off. So. I mean, it was a little different, but I think I'll get back into it quick. Do you feel like just being out of the game or out of playing for like a year kind of attributed to maybe a little bit of rust, you would say? I mean, you can say that. I mean, I don't want to put it on one thing. Um, I'm just, I mean, it happened. I miss shots. It happens to everybody. I'll just keep moving forward. How big was tonight just in terms of with all the new pieces, guys getting comfortable with each other in a true game environment rather than just practice scrimmages, that sort of thing? This is definitely big. Um, just you know, having having to be able to play another team instead of playing each other um, every day in practice or every weekend it is good um, to to be able to get get out there and get acclimated with each other um, against a different team. And uh, we're we're getting to, we have a good feel for each other already, and, and it's only going to get better as we go on. Any thoughts on uh, Kashad the freshman putting up twelve points and threes? I mean, yeah, that's what he does. I mean, he, he has a high motor. He's always running up and down, um, doing different things, rebounding. I mean, he's really he's our longest player um, on the team, obviously. And, and I mean, that's just a little bit what he does. So didn't see a dunk. Though. Yeah, we didn't. He, you'll see some of those though. <laughs> you Don't will. Worry. Yeah, <laughs> definitely see those. You guys didn't um, have a scout before your scrimmage, and, and coach just said he wanted us to throw you out there, and you obviously did for several days for this. How much of a difference does that make? I mean, it makes a difference just knowing their guys. Um, like personnel. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We know what everybody does, so we can we can guard to their tendencies and and uh, just pick up on things that I mean that that happens with, when you scout. So you just know more familiar with the opponent.